is Tips and Toes. My name is Dana Roberts and I am the owner and I've been doing nails now for 25 years. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a pink and white sculptured nail using Tammy Taylor products. This is Kia, she's going to be my model for the day and let's get started. First thing we're going to do is sanitize our hands. You just rub that around. And we're using Tammy Taylor sanitizer. All right. And the first thing we're going to do is remove the polish off of the nail that we're going to be doing the acrylic on. And then using a Tammy Taylor nail strip, 100 grit. We're going to etch her nail and prepare it for the acrylic. Using the edge of the file to push back the cuticle. And use a brush to brush up all the dust. The next step we're going to do is use a Tammy Taylor primer. Do one coat of primer and we let this completely dry. And then we're going to do another coat once it's dry. Now we're going to be applying a Tammy Taylor form to the end of her finger. And then you want to reprime the nail. And we will begin our acrylic application. And today we're going to be using A plus nail liquid. And the P101 and the P102 acrylic powders. Now we're going to apply the acrylic. Our first ball goes right on the form at the edge of the free edge. Clean up our smile line a little bit. And then we're going to apply our second ball right in the middle of the nail using the P102. The third ball you apply right about 30 seconds of an inch away from the cuticle. Pat it out and stroke it out. Then you want to use your last and fourth ball and apply it right across the stress area. And there you go. We're going to wait for that to dry. Okay, now that the nail is dry, we're going to remove the form. going to go ahead and use the 100 grit purple terminator to file the edges and the 180 grit zebra file to smooth and buff the nail. shape it from her angle. Okay. Use the brush, brush off all the dust. I'm going to put a little drop of Tammy Taylor cuticle oil. Rub that in. And then use a buffer and just 
make sure you get the last little bit of scratches out. And send her to wash. Okay, now that Kia has washed and dried her nail, we're going to use Tammy Taylor Gel Plus, Top Gel Plus, to give it some shine. And we're going to cure it in a UV dryer for two minutes, and then we will show you the results. Now using a Tammy Taylor Clean It Wipe, we're going to use the Clean It, remove the stickiness from the gel coat, And there you have your finished pink and white Tammy Taylor acrylic nail. Now we're going to be doing a demonstration on how to do Tammy Taylor Soak Off Gel System. We're going to be using a pre-etched natural square tip in size 7 on her finger and then we're going to be applying a pink nail gel. First, we want to sanitize her hands and mine. Use a Tammy Taylor sanitizer. Next, we're going to remove the polish. We're going to use a Tammy Taylor 180 grit Shape It gel file. Just smooth out the edges of her natural nail. And then we're going to put a tip on. Make sure it completely fits the nail from sidewall to sidewall. You want to actually like it to be a little bit big. Brush on glue in the well. And we're going to hold it on to her nail until it adheres. Now we're going to cut it to the desired length. And using our gel file, we're going to shape the edges of it. Gel buffer. Buff. Make it flush with her nail bed. Okay, now we're going to use a gel wipe it with Tammy Taylor Clean It. We're going to completely clean off the nail. Dry a second, and then we're going to be applying the Tammy Taylor Bondit. We do two coats and let them completely dry before we do the gel application. Okay. Apply our first coat of Bondit to the natural nail only. And let that dry. Okay, now we're going to apply the second coat of Bondit. The bonded is a non-acid primer, and what that does is help the gel to adhere to the nail bed. So we only need to put it on the natural bed. Let that dry. Okay, now we're going to apply the pink, natural dramatic pink soak off gel with the Tammy Taylor custom gel brush. What we want to do is get a ball of the gel. And we're going to apply the 30 seconds of an inch from the cuticle and use a circular motion just to try to move it around from the left to the right. And we've got good coverage, then we're going to use the brush, float it over the top and stroke it out. Cap the tip, 
and we're going to dry this for two minutes in a UV dryer. Okay, now we're going to, after cleaning our brush in the Tammy Taylor Clean It, we're going to apply our second ball of Soak Off Nail Gel. Put it a 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle and move it from side to side until we have the whole thing covered. And then we're going to stroke it out again. Cap the tip. And then we're going to dry that in the dryer. Okay, now that the nail is cured, we're going to use another gel wipe with the Clean It. And clean it off. Take our gel file and shape the edge. We're going to use some peach cuticle oil. Rub it in. And there you have a pink gel nail. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to polish it with the Heart of Manhattan Tammy Taylor Nail Lacquer. So I want to go ahead and use the Clean It again. We're going to polish the nail and then we're going to follow it up with some Tammy Taylor non-yellowing high gloss Z-coat. Now we're going to apply the high gloss Z coat, Tammy Taylor Z coat, to the nail. And there's your finished Tammy Taylor gel nail. Thank you for joining me today at Dana's Tips and Toes as I demonstrated a few of the procedures that I implement on a daily basis. I've been using Tammy Taylor's products for over 25 years and I fully believe and trust in the company. Tammy Taylor's products are durable, non-lifting, non-yellowing, and they create beautiful nails each and every single time. I am very excited about working with the Tammy Taylor educational team as it has been a dream of mine for a really long time. I have four children who as of last year are all grown and so now I have the opportunity to dedicate even more time to this amazing career. I believe I can be a great asset to your company as I'm hard work, hard working, reliable, fun loving, outgoing, and I love to help others. So I really look forward to meeting you all next month and I hope you all have a fabulous nail day.